us. Do you know what you just heard? In that story of the Gospel of John? What did you just hear? What happened? Anybody? Lazarus rose from the dead. Lazarus was risen from the dead. Anything else? Yeah? Jesus was super sad. Jesus was super sad. He wept, yeah? Oh, okay. Lazarus, yeah. What you heard, which you may not realize, was an all out declaration of war against the forces of hell. Did you know that? That the gates of Hades were shooken by the thunder of the words, Lazarus, come forth. Jesus was coming, and he wasn't coming to play. He was coming to break down those doors and to proclaim the resurrection and to open the way to paradise. See, for a long time, and still to this day for most people in the world, death is a terror. Death is the end of life. And it's terrifying. Because what do we do? How do we stop it? How do we avoid it? Can we? But we all get old, if nothing else, and our bodies break down. And so for all of time, mankind became hostage to his fear of death. Afraid that it was just the end. And there'd be nothing else. Therefore, a lot of people would scrabble and push and shove and try to take as much as they could and grab all that they could while they had the chance. For what? They were going to lose it anyway. But for some reason, that fear made them into irrational, crazed beings. And this happens to us, too, when we give in to selfishness and fear. Christ came to destroy that, to destroy that fear. And not surprisingly, after he raised Lazarus from the dead and showed everybody that death is not the end, that God does intend for us to have another life beyond this one, that actually made it worse. Because all those people who were pushing and shoving were really worried. Because now they were like, uh-oh, he's going to come and push and shove us out of the way. And now we won't have our stuff anymore. They didn't get what he was doing. All they were concerned about was their own little power. And so they started to plot and to plan on how they might get Jesus out of the picture. That's how foolish they had become, how crazy they had become. The one who had power over life and death and showed us the resurrection. They thought they could stop. And so... The raising of Lazarus is kind of the first event in a sequence of events which we call Holy Week that will culminate in them putting Jesus to death, trying to destroy his war against Hades, his war against hell. But then, that's exactly what he needed to do, right? Because he had to go down there. So going down into Hades as a dead man, he revealed himself as God. And really blew it all up. Did you ever did you ever get sick and have to throw something up? You ever, you ever had a puke? That's what hell did when it took Jesus when he was swallowed alive by the grave. It was like epicac. It was like charcoal. It was like it, it was like the, the most nastiest thing hell could imagine was a perfectly holy and sinless human being who was, in fact, God in the flesh. And it totally turned his insides out. And Hades was no longer the jail of those who lived in fear, but it was the jet from which they went to paradise, vomiting forth like a fish, like Jonah being spat from the whale. So today, we are coming and crying, victory! Hosanna in the highest. He's the vanquisher of death. And even though we're going to be shook ourselves over Holy Week because we see what they did to him to try to stop him, by next week we'll be singing Christ is risen, trampling down death by death. 
and we'll see that it all worked out fine and it all came out to his glory. And we ourselves join him. We are part of that story. Even you. Even though it happened a long time ago, every single human being who comes into this world is enlightened by what happened and is changed by what happened. And we jump into the fray and we also join that battle by living not in fear, by not being afraid of death, by not giving into selfishness and pushing and shoving and lying and cheating and stealing and robbing and whatever, but by repenting from it, by turning away from it and turning towards God and saying, spit me out. Spit me out of hell, Lord. I want to go straight to heaven with you. Christ is <laughs>